Today we bring you the most complete metaverse I've seen so far. Ladies and gentlemen, we bring you the Sandbox, which is currently in Alpha Season 2, which means that you can play the game right now for free and earn sand tokens. Hello everyone, we're the Playground channel and I'm Bruno, a host from the Crypto Herd, and today we we'll finally be trying the Sandbox before you get to own Alpha Pass which is NFT, but right now you can play it for free and earn some sand tokens. So how it works in the sandbox is land owners are able to build infrastructure and create mini games for you as a player to go there and try those same mini games. On top of that, land owners can also build virtual businesses just like Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Yeah, you heard that right. Snoop Dogg actually built a bunch of land plots and he built his own digital empire on the sandbox. Guys, this is getting too exciting, better get started. So guys, this is the map of the sandbox, okay, which is basically a digital world where 90% of the content was created by players. Okay, we can already see some uh, big names here like Binance, YGG, Ubisoft, Animoca Brands, the sandbox themselves, of course, and Snoop Dogg himself. So as you guys can see, there's big names here already. In the sandbox, you have two ways. Either you go around and just play in other players' experiences, which are the mini games they build on their own lands, or you become a land owner. You can buy like a piece of land which is an NFT for a minimum of 3 ETH and if you actually own a land plot which is an NFT you can build yourself an experience for the community so currently the sandbox is in alpha season 2 which is alpha testing okay before there was alpha season 1 where only alpha pass owners of the season 1 were able to play the game so as a free player by playing in alpha season 2 you can get some tickets basically these tickets are going to be entries for a raffle where you can get up until 1000 sand okay which we're going to cover in a bit and you can also earn one of 10,000 season 2 alpha passes okay so this season 2 alpha passes they're going to enable you to play the game to earn, okay? Because if you play as a free player, all you get are the tickets for the raffle. But if you actually own a season 2 of a pass, you can actually earn every time you play an experience or a mini game inside someone else's lands. By owning the Alpha Season Pass 2, you actually earn and you earn in sand, which is the governance token in the sandbox and it's basically used for literally everything thing in this digital world including like staking liquidity pools you can also stake them into your lands and also to upload your assets to the sandbox marketplace that's right uploading assets so if you consider yourself an artist you can actually use the vox edit which is a tool built by the sandbox that will enable you to create nfts okay and then if you actually own land you can place the same nfts in your land plot or you can sell them to other players so for example this guy he built this gold warrior in the vox edit tool and now he's selling it for 21 sand which is around 61 dollars okay so that's another way of earning inside this game building assets and minting nfts is just one of the many ways of earning inside the sandbox so here it is sand erc20 token with a max supply of 3 billion 1.12 billion circulating supply and it's currently at the price of three dollars with its all-time highs at 8.2 dollars back in november so as you guys can see this is a project built on ethereum but they actually have plans on migrating to polygon probably because of the gas fees that's why they already built the m sand okay which is basically the version of the sand token but on the polygon network so guys enough talk it's actually time to test the game but before that let me tell you that uh, since this is the alpha only a small portion of the map is available okay so in the alpha you're only going to be able to experience mini games from the sandbox or gmf or game jam or snoop dog so if you're a land owner you're going to be able to build already your mini game 
but it won't be available for the community yet as you can see there's also like some numbers in the square so this means that every day in the alpha a new area or new areas and experiences are going to be unlocked so right now we are in day four so what we're going to be able to experience is like the alpha lobby which is the center portal hub which unlocked on day two club x y and z and today the fourth day we unlock the rooftop a la modes and also the hidden village which hopefully we're going to find in the game itself let's get started so here we are guys in the alpha lobby which is a central area and from the central area you can access all the other areas of the sandbox there's already lots of new players going around okay there's already some quests where we have to find voxelites scattered across the land so voxelites are like these tokens here basically they're like incentivizing exploration for you to like wander around then besides these other things we can do is like read stuff about the metaverse of the sandbox access to snoop dogg's lifestyle attend snoop's private metaverse parties Okay, this is a new concept for me guys metaverse part so i think it's like selling gear nft <laughs> to get inside this metaverse private party let's see how much this is so there's no copies of this sale available now but there's here something else snoop dog early access pass the snoop verse okay snoop verse early access pass gives you access to all of the snoop verse experiences before anyone else Become a part of the development of Snoop's metaverse presence. Receive unique benefits and enter the world of Snoop Dogg. Okay, so it's also NFT. Okay, that costs 525 cents. So that's like 1.5Ks. Will you guys pay 1.5Ks to access the Snoopverse experience before anyone else? Let me know in the comment section. Shut up and take my money. Let's explore a bit and see what else we find. Actually, I see like some people that have like different avatars than from mine. So what is this? This is like NFT museum or something. So I see here board ape yacht club. A collection right here one of the most expensive collections in the Ethereum the board API club is a collection of 10,000 unique board ape NFTs unique digital collectibles living on the Ethereum blockchain so these are like other NFT collections what's this holo projector big and I think you can buy this in the marketplace being sold for like 21 cents and it has power not sure what power is for but i'm guessing that you can buy these and if you're a landowner you can place these on your land looks pretty dope if you ask me so let's go around see what else can we find oh there's like an exclamation point is that a quest metaverse guide welcome to the alpha lobby metaversian so i'm a metaverse you know it's a perfect starting point for your journey right the four points of interest are oracle area scientist area heroes area path of the star so we have another quest which is to find points of interest oh there's like some guys dancing there you go guys it's the sandbox rap so actually if you press n you can access like a list of nfts with different rarities so let's keep exploring see what else do we find actually i feel like playing some mini games so i know there's like some secret areas around here that are not easy to access it actually gives me like the minecraft vibe really interesting how many of you guys are minecraft fans if you're a minecraft fan hit that like button guys and support the channel the whole place okay look at this amazing amazing i believe the sandbox is right now what we have closest to the metaverse concept a true digital world with its own economy so i don't think there's like anything else that is closer to this concept other than the sandbox so look Hello at this, very nice oh well, did that guy get there let's try to get there too do we die if we jump i don't think so oh there's like some leather here and we found something Okay, a mirador of the metaverse, guys. This is a mirador of the metaverse. You can see everything here. So there's like some jungle, there's like a portal. One of the points of interest is there. So maybe you can jump from here to there. There's like this sort of like desert area, something like that. Then there's another area right there with another portal and another portal there. That's the NFT museum where we were, and that's the dance club. 
but actually I would like to do something else other than just uh, wander around so I like to explore but I would like to actually play a game but there's no game to play only wander around gathering voxel life how this is going to be in the future is like you go around and then you're going to find like portals that are going to lead you to other players areas where they build their own experiences okay so i think like in the alpha most of the experiences are just about like wandering around and exploring but that is going to change okay there's going to be like imagine you go into a portal and there's going to be like uh, mini card game then you go to another portal you find like a RPG game and then you go into another game and it's going to be like a space game completely different uh, mini games in every area okay and uh, basically landowners are going to be responsible for producing 90% of the content of the sandbox a world full of like areas to explore and mini games built by the community so actually when you go into an area you can see the size so this is the size of four lands so you guys can have an idea how big lands are and it has 346 assets so i believe these are like nfts created on vox edits look at this nfts are dead long live nfts we're going to the nft institute let's go this is uh, our first experience a state-of-the-art NFT museum so this is like the same as the board api club but uh, cheaper <laughs> So then another thing is that each area is going to have its own quest and if you actually own the alpha season pass you're going to be able to earn sand by doing the same quests. Okay interesting so parkour race actually this looks a bit more engaging than just finding points of interest. And this give, gives me like the old PlayStation X vibes, you know, there was like these platform games uh, where we had to jump from platform to platform. By the way guys, for all of you who know PlayStation X is hit that like button because you're probably like me, a fellow from the 90s. So let's go, let's try to finish this quest, actually this is the coolest quest I've seen in the sandbox so far, okay. Try not to fall. I think we're gonna make it. Nope. Oh, we fell again. I'm a dishonor for my family. I don't quit easily, guys. Oh, yeah, we did it. Oh, wait, wait, still not finished. Still not finished. So you have to press shift to run to jump higher. Where do I have to go now? I think I finished. Nice, we successfully finished our parkour quest. So guys, this is a sandbox of a season 2 for you here. As you can see, most of the goals are mostly about exploring, but that is going to change. There's already some areas where you can play like mini games, where you have other tasks other than just going to points of interest. As it is expected, the game is still a bit limited because it is in alpha, but can already foresee what this big project is going to become, okay? A true metaverse owned by players. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe for more NFT gaming reviews. And I see a Cryptomanics in the metaverse.